Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No. I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red. Hot head red. Hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it! Finally! Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey! We got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in Falls Count Anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. He got out of the way. This could stop AJ Styles for a while. It might, but it probably won't. The unpredictable nature of this match can help turn the tides, though. While it doesn't have the legacy of Raw and SmackDown, WWE Jacked is the only WWE program you've seen AJ Styles on before 2016. Boom, Man. boom, persistent barrage. Turning the momentum to his favor. He can't allow himself to let up now. Corey, a Falls Count Anywhere match can turn an entire arena upside down. How can a superstar put themselves in a position to win? A competitor must put themselves in a position of power, a position of control. Render your opponent immobile and continue the assault. It's all about making use of your surroundings. You can't take anything in the environment for granted. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. And now that one's countered. Then kick right to the gut. Oh, solid contact there. Oh, close line. Great agility there. Tough spot to be in. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Targeting the chest, very effective. Draped right across the top. And he's heading back in. It's a guy. Right on the mark. Ooh, that kick. Styles just unloading on his opponent. And finds a counter. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Oh. Boom! Spike 
knocks him down. Toss to the outside. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. AJ Styles is fired up in this one. Just sending a message there. And AJ Styles makes him pay. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. The Florida Keys! And there's the Yurinagi. Land of them. Here he goes! For the win! One, two, three! I don't believe it! The match is over! I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right. Now I remember. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy <sighs> and will go to any lengths to defend it. Yikes. Yikes. That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Oh, good night. Sorry. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Russian leg sweep. Boom, did you hear the impact? Really just laying it in. Natalia is a superstar who knows how to go the distance, weather the storm, and tough it out. She isn't someone to overlook. No one's saying Natalia's being overlooked, but she can sometimes get caught up in playing to the WWE Universe. All it takes is one taunt too many, and her opponent could get the advantage over her. Natalia may be a veteran, but once her strategy flies out the window, she scrambles. Punch! Ooh, what impact! Ah, oh, perfect kick! And it's Natalia with the reversal. Amazing reflexes on display. Oh my gosh! She's made her point and can now admire her handiwork. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's... Interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle, I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. 
Now, you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Alright, time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like... 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about... Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? So you know when you're on a long drive to the next town and to pass the time, you start coming up with dream match scenarios? Well, these two facing each other is exactly that. These are certainly two of the top names to ever pass through the Great White North. When I'm on a long drive, I'm mostly just thinking about how grateful I am to be Byron Free at the time. Uh, you know you miss me. Not a chance. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. The crucifix, nicely done. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Double stop. The hitman in some trouble here. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. And there's the reversal for Bret Hart. You know, watching Bret Hart in action here, just a reminder that he may be the greatest technical wrestler of all time. How do you counter that kind of dominance? If you want to beat the hitman, you need to use hit and run tactics to maintain some space and stay on your feet. If he's able to lock you up, it's all over. Bret wants to take this battle to the mat as much as possible where he can maintain complete control. As his opponent, you can't let him trap you. If it's locked in, it could be nap time. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Dragon twist cutter. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Springboard. Phoenix splash. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, and a stop. 
Just despicable menacing. Ooh. Stop after stop after stop. Things are beginning to not look good for Bret Hart, folks. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. We've seen Bret Hart make some big comebacks before, and he'll need to do it again. Yeah, that and a miracle. Uh-oh. Oh. And that might be just enough to win. Bret he could pin his opponent right here. Is over. That's all she wrote. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Brett home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Brett! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure heart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time... Do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story.
Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? <laughs> Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, what was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but... I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omley. I know. How about uh, Albert S. Wipe? Nah. Carl Botch? On account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. 